by 2025 it is possible that india will have the largest number of diabetic patients in the world on one hand whenever you have monsoon you will have house flies mosquitoes and there is an increase or surge in the number of communicable diseases and on the other with westernization with progression we now call ourselves as a developing country or a developed country almost and therefore we also have our good share of lifestyle diseases by this i mean diabetes hypertension high cholesterol and so on so on one hand india is gripped with communicable diseases and on the other hand with lifestyle diseases out of this lifestyle diseases the most important which can kill your breadwinner in your family and therefore you have to understand the importance and basics of what is diabetes because i am sure every family in india has somebody who has got a diabetes it can be mother father child grandparent uncle and so on what is diabetes when we eat food whether it is carbohydrate or fat or protein it will be digested and the main material which will be consumed by your cells is glucose in other words carbohydrates which form the bulk of any diet anywhere in the world will be converted to glucose and this glucose is the one which runs our metabolism or our cell factories and energy is produced and therefore we live that means whatever we eat good or bad or junk will finally be presented to individual cell in our body as glucose for growth you will require amino acids for some other functions you will require fatty acid derivatives but that's a different story now for a variety of reasons this glucose which is let us say in abundance in the body for it to enter into cell you will require the mediation of a hormone called insulin this insulin is produced by an endocrine organ in your body which is called pancreas this pancreas has got beta cells and alpha cells and these cells they produce insulin in the islets of langerhans that's the science part what does insulin do insulin will facilitate the entry of glucose into your cells over a period of time it can be genetic it can be because of stress it can be because of obesity lack of exercise and a variety of other reasons one develops diabetes where there is a relative deficiency of insulin either insulin is low or enough insulin whatever is produced will not have any receptors to bind with and this sugar is unable to enter therefore you will have lot of sugar which is not entering into cells and that gets excreted and that is how you eat but all the final nutrients are lost and that is the basis of diabetes once we understand the basis of this diabetes in the next few videos we will see what is the consequence of this relative lack of insulin which produces complications which are related to diabetes so in nutshell diabetes means relative lack of insulin or resistance to whatever insulin you have produced you have lot of sugar in your body it doesn't enter into cells doesn't get metabolized and gets excreted in your urine so that is the first thing what we should understand in this series of videos about diabetes